50 movie, he's like, oh man, this was great. Like, even if I see a lot of people on Twitter being like, I don't like that movie. Rawr, it had this problem and that problem. Xander's like, I had fun. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a good mindset to have. And I, I bet, you know, that mindset, if you apply to this game, will have you frolicking as you move along in the bracket. Mm -hmm. And there's no more moving along in the bracket to be had. We're in grand finals right now. And the only way we get another set is if we get a reset from RJ and Sassy, but I mean, right now they're already both off stage. A stock already gone from RJ as he tries to go out and save Sassy, who may have been fine already. And now the PK Thunder 2 means that Blue Team is off to a hot start. And that's about what you expected out of this Blue Team. Something crazy and wild has started off. Already immediate off stage interactions. And there's just no break. The crazy part about it is, you know, they didn't plan any of that. Austin oh, no. wasn't like, hey, I'm going to go up and miss a bunch of downers, but then I'm going to go ahead and hit a PK Thunder 2. No, Th That's no. not what goes on in these guys' minds. They just go, hey, press the green button. Press it a lot. So, yeah, hey, I'm going to hit them. But uh, you can try to hit them too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> just as long as you don't get in my way. Ooh. Wow. I, nice I, setup I, with the gyro. I can't believe how safe Rello was playing there off stage. Still able to stay alive in two quick stocks again from the blue team. My goodness, is this a hot start. This is uh, ferocious. I'll take that damage for sure to seal a stock. But Rel, waiting for Austin to respawn. Oh my gosh, already a pressing the Sassy. Neighbor, out of curiosity, how would you describe Ness down tilt? I, I think I would describe it. Uh, as my good friend Benedict says, that that move is dumb. That move is indeed uh, a little bit, a little bit dumb. Yeah. My gosh, Yellowello just goes for a second egg lay. I think he actually hit Austin with that one, but regardless, he's still got plenty of damage built up on Sassy. He's doing all that he can to stay alive, swinging those arms like spaghetti. Goodness, no spaghetti flying for the for the blue team though. They're holding on as best as they can. Austin. Dropping that stock, oh, but Rello, no. Rello is ready to make plays no matter the occasion. Is that is that his splash card when he gets oh, added to Smash? Oh my uh, god! Twice in a row. It's a big forward air with that basketball nose Ayoshi to really cap off an aggressive game from the blue team. What a freaking noggin flogging coming out of yellow Rello. You gotta be kidding me. I'm pretty sure that that is illegal. You, you sound like a 70s like baseball announcer right now. God bless. <laughs> the 70s were a wonderful time. Who's on first? That's all I want to know. Right now, uh, right now, Austin and Yellarello are sitting comfy. I would agree with you like that. In a, uh, I would agree with you. Seated first place. Mm -hmm. And certainly looking like they could hold that down if they uh, continue what they did in that first game. I mean. RJ and Sassy have definitely got to make some adaptations. And kind of like you were saying at the beginning of the set, it's, you know, how do they deal with the aggression? Are they going to turtle up even more? Or are they going to find a way to hit back and hit harder when they get hit? You know how they say, it's not about, it's not about not getting knocked down. It's about how hard you can get hit and then get back up. Yeah. And I would love to see, honestly, like a character switch out of RJ to maybe try something different because I feel like the defense is just not the game plan that will work. I, of course, you know, if you're able to get that lead and force that defense, I'm sure it could be effective. But I don't see a world where Austin and Yellow Rello don't can open their way in. They're eventually going to find their way in, and then what do you do as the Palutena? Well, that's one thing you can do is just smack that Ness into the blast zone with the back air. So you can say goodbye to that one. Yellow Rello going to fire back as well. And RJ has his teammates back. Two stocks from him quickly. Oh, yeah. Stocks flying left and right. RJ again being the one to stock tanks in 81. But, you know, we'll see how long that lasts. Now we see the chase down with Yellow Rello. Eventually finds his way back down, a little bit mellowed out. And now the teams are uh, you know, a little bit more split up. It's the 1v1. Yellow Ellis trying to keep out RJ so that Austin can, you know, just kind of do his thing of whatever it is that Ness does. Yellow Ellis gets one hit off stage, but with Sassy playing Rob, he's able to find his way back. Really good projectile coverage from the red team as well to make sure that everybody is hunky dory. Oh my goodness, the setup off of that! Oh my gosh, I can't believe Austin's alive. He won't be for long, but once again, the theme of this game is have your teammates back. Yeah, you cannot have your cake and also eat it. Not this time. The second you start munching, that cake is gone. Woo. 
I don't want to punch any cakes right now, but Austin looks like he just might be aggressive enough to do that. What a monster he's been. Man. Rello again, the one making everything happen off stage. Trying to set up these forward airs. Following his nose. And, and the nose says, hit that man. Hit him hard. Woo! Yellow Rello calls off Austin. He says, I can handle the Palutena, but RJ throws the reversal on him with that up air. That one goes unanswered, so the blue team might be looking like they're in trouble here if they can't get this going at that speed they want. Yeah, we've got a nice stock lead for the red team, and I have to say, I was definitely wrong. They were able to set up a pretty defensive pace very well. Of course, they're taking their opportunities that is being given to them by the aggression of the blue team, but they're primarily really holding on to the slower pace. However, if Sassy drops this stock, this will be a 2v1 that RJ will have to do. Of course, we've seen him actually thrive in those situations previously, and it looks like he won't even have to manage it. It's going to be Yellow Rello barely able to make it back with that air dodge, but, oh, man, what a tough comeback this is going to be considering the coordination we've seen out of Sassy and RJ so far. Oh, falling out of the air, but gets set back up into the grab. Ooh, down yeah. smash to cover perfectly. Rello had to land eventually, and you don't want to do it between the two members of the red team. So really nice adaptation there after game one to slow it down, play their own pace for red team to tie this up 1-1. And I love the rinse repeat on the ledge trapping, the edge guarding there against a Yoshi. Uh, normally a character that is like not always the easiest to do that kind of thing against because he has so many resources. He has the armor on his double jump, but the players were able to communicate rather well around that and still hold that ledge. Oh, the big job of playing patiently. Oh. Yeah, honestly, playing patient is really hard to do when you ledge trap sometimes, but nonetheless, they were able to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. now we'll see. Uh, that was a very different game than game one. Mm -hmm. Game one started off like a firecracker, but even itself out. Game two, you could definitely feel the pace in uh, Sassy and RJ's favor. Yeah, they definitely set the pace. And the big thing, I mean, like I was saying, if you want to this blue team is going to get in on you eventually so your answer has to be when when you hit me i will also hit you and nearly every time that a stock was taken by the blue team red team answered with one themselves okay. a little bit more of an up close and personal stage on lilac cruise is going to make it a little bit harder for rj to play it as big of a defense game as he had He's actually doing a really good job of, uh, once again, we saw this a little bit in that last game on Pokemon Stadium 2. Austin's in this 1v1 against RJ, and he's just trying to keep the robot out so that you know, the Nest Train can continue to roll. Mm -hmm. My gosh, yeah, Rello, Rello took the blue elevator up, and he gave a tail slap serving the Sassy. So that's a really quick first stock for the blue team before a minute hits. And again, though, I do see this stage working out very well for Sassy, being able to apply pressure on those platforms. And you know what? RJ off stage as well. He's able to take out that first stock from Rello. For sense that Austin's at, he might be going down soon, too. And he says, hey, let me go try to finish off Sassy, even as much as Rello has been hitting him. Finally, that explosive flame comes out to finish off Austin. But boy, if Sassy's not sitting at a high percent. Man, and what a clean punish on the attempted PK flash as well, which could have been a terrifying situation to deal with. Hey, Austin fakes a little aggression towards Sassy, but all of a sudden, RJ is in trouble off stage. A crafty teleport back onto the stage won't mean that he's staying alive, but 50% already built up and climbing. Ooh, awareness there by Austin. Notice that he could be in trouble with that up smash. He do that extra knockback when somebody's charging a smash attack, and he is certainly going to be taking out the red robot. Okay, all the action stuck on this right side right now. Again, as you see, everything sandwiched together. But as soon as it, as it opens up and loosens out, red team takes an advantage. Like you said, they are malleable as it comes. Got to see if they're going to be able to have each other's back like they did in that last game. Sassy won't be able to fire back after RJ loses that stock, and that means Austin gets to hold on in the last one with the second stock. There we go. Both red team member percents are climbing. As you see, Rello still staying relatively low, but you know how he likes to go off stage. Ooh, Ooh. 
Sassy tried to drop deep off stage. Yellow Rella wouldn't even let him have the real estate. Now the shield oh break for RJ. Austin gets a heal off of the laser that tried to break him out. Of course, that does have a hitbox when you heal, so it knocks him out anyways. So RJ is going to have to do this 2v1 alone, a 3v1, in fact, when you look at the stocks. It's still a really smart play from Austin to recognize that Sassy was going to try to save with that long-distance laser. Oh. And yeah, oh. that Palutena is out of the picture. Oh. Up now, 2-1. And the games that we see won by blue team are dominant. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you expect that out of the archetypes here. Aggressive, hold forward. You're going to see some fast, explosive games. And when you see the red team winning, it's going to be a little bit more of a slog. I mean, if you think about that, I mean, if you look at like a competitive Pokemon team, for example, you know, if the hyper offense team gets off to a good start, it'll be over in like eight or nine turns. But stall team goes in, it'll, it might take you like, you know, a good 60, 70 turns before that game ends. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'd I like to see that if the game gets a little bit grindy, red team's able to stick to their guns. But if it goes quick, like you said, it's hard to stop a train that keeps on going when it looks the way that it has for the blue team. And the question is, does blue team need to find their way to just keep that train moving, or maybe just have the train be malleable around the speed of this red team? Sometimes if you're slowed down, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to stop altogether. I you think about it like going around a corner in a train. I mean, you don't want to go around a corner at 120 miles an hour, you're derailed. But exactly. you just slow it down a little bit. You make sure that you stay fluid, and you keep your motions fluid, and maybe you'll be able to find your way, you know, around this red team that has been really hard to keep locked out. Man, and I love this counter pick coming out of the red team. This great blast zones for both of their characters, great stage layout for both of their characters. Really just uh, exemplifies all their strengths, and I, I expect to see some, some solid stuff out of them. Well, meanwhile, you're going to be seeing a lot of kills off the top from the blue team, especially when it comes to Yellowella. We saw Austin go for one as well with that yo-yo, which is still a potent kill tool for the Ness. Mm -hmm. We'll see if the red team can take advantage of these kill percents or if they're going to falter a little bit when it comes to nabbing him, because that's what we saw a little bit in that last game. Like we saw Austin live to like 130 on one of those stocks. That's not something you see often from the Ness. Even no. though those early stocks are working for the blue team. Absolutely. Again, we're seeing blue team hold on to these stocks, getting this aggression going. This, of course, with yes. this high a percent. Yeah, definitely still anybody's game. Rello's stuck in disadvantage, but Austin's there. there to back oh, up his teammate. unfortunate that Gyro really just did not give Rello any room to move. Great placement by Sassy. And because of that, we're back to a dead even game even after Blue Team hit the Red Team so hard for what seemed like disaster for a moment. But instead, Red Team is not throwing away this opportunity that has been given to them by the Blue Team. Oh, that's a spike. Going for another. Toss Ooh. the gyro. Great coverage by Sassy. That's the only way that he's going to be able to make it back there. But his job is not done quite yet. He's got to put those non-existent Rob feet back on the ground. Mm -hmm. Eventually does find his way back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my god. Just gosh. take both of those stocks. Collateral damage. I don't know if you take that as the red team, though. With this high percent that RJ is sitting at, as fresh as Rello's second stock is, that might actually end up being pretty bad for him. Uh, maybe maybe that's why it took so long to let it fly as they were just sitting and contemplating. Not what you can do if Austin's just going to keep mashing those. All you can do is hope that your teammate mashes out. However, RJ going to keep the pressure on Yellow Rello up top. Not able to finish the job. He's got to find a way to let Sassy get planted firmly back on the ground once again. And there it is with that explosive flame, which we've seen time and time again. Such a great support tool. Right. It just... Let the, let the teammate push forward and cover yourself with the explosive flame. There's not a lot that the opponent can do about it. They just got to hold that L. Of course, it does take some time and space to set up. And normally, we don't see the blue team giving red team that much space. No, oh. but wow. Yellow wow. Rello, this time, the red team's able to follow up where they couldn't on that second stock. Uh, we were down to even for a second. RJ going to drop that stock, and it's going to be up to him once again to make this 2v1 happen. And he nearly takes down that nest stock. Yellowrello's got to do all he can to let Austin get planted on stage and start tossing out right there, the PK Thunders. Mm -hmm. PK Thunders are going to make this way more difficult. Up oh, there's his partner. That sets up a KO, and now this could definitely be RJ's game, but he's sitting still with a deficit. Gets that grab. Puts on double fair, of course. Yoshi's gonna jump out with that double jump armor. Uh, 
This is a really terrible situation for Yellarello, honestly. I mean, RJ, when the pressure's on him, he's been totally fine. That air dodge looked very dangerous. Yeah, I was terrified that that was not going to snap, and that would have been the saddest way to end this game. Oh, great aerial drift by Yellarello. He knows that Yoshi's got the best in the business. But once you get back on stage, how do you open up the Palutena? RJ corners himself. <coughs> But with that, he's able to get the Yoshi off stage quickly. He has no double jump. He's got to use wow. that air dodge to get How back to stage. The range? That's insane. Yellowrello, master of his own recovery. It's again, no oh. double jump. Neutral air in the corner. Not going to be enough. He goes so deep, but now it's Rello with the stage control. He wasn't ready for the Palutena to be back so quick. Okay. A good another mix up might be the end here. Great teleport out of the egg. He's continuing to go for these command grabs because RJ keeps shielding. One more of those up airs just might do it. You can see Rello knows. And again we see... Oh! oh! A big setup opportunity for Rell. Back, Back airs air. once again. Not going to set up for the kill. He's going so deep off stage. Uh, does find his way back on, continues the ledge trap, and the up smash punishes the landing from RJ, trying to land empty. That's going to be the tournament uh -huh. for Yellow, Rello, and Austin. Yep, ultimatum two as far as doubles go has wrapped up. Of course, we still got events for you guys to watch tomorrow on Sunday, but as far as the action goes here on Saturday, it is over with your doubles champions being Austin and Yellow, Rello. Yeah.